is going on awesome peeps? Brent McCluskey here with Electrified Views and on today's episode we are reviewing the Vituvia SN100 fat tire electric bike. This thing is fast, it is powerful, and it's got a cool camo pattern. So let's dive into the specs. All right, my fellow e-bike friends. So today we are reviewing the Vituvia SN100 fat tire electric bike. This e-bike is definitely in the affordable category with a starting price of $1,679 USD. And Vituvia also offers free shipping, which helps save another nice chunk of change. The SN100 comes in four different color options. Camo, the one we are reviewing today, classic black, green, and silver gray. And it's also a great e-bike for exploring the trails or just cruising through town. Right, so let's talk about the specs. The Vituvia SN100 has a powerful Vituvia branded 750 watt hub motor in the rear wheel. This motor cranks out 80 newton meters of torque and can bring this ride up to a top speed of 28 miles per hour by using the thumb throttle or the cadence sensing pedal assist. Now look, like all cadence sensors, there is some latency with motor activation and deactivation, and that can make navigating technical terrain a little bit difficult. Thankfully, the throttle on the SN100 is live from zero miles per hour, and the brakes have motor inhibitors built into the brake lever. So this means you can pretty easily take manual control of motor activation and deactivation for those situations where precision riding is important. The 48 volt, 13 amp hour locking removable battery is positioned on the down tube, which keeps that center of gravity on the SN100 nice and low. And it also offers a max estimated range of 48 miles per charge. Now, real world range will vary quite a bit depending on a number of factors like payload, terrain, pedal assist level, when you know, all that good stuff. The curb weight on the SN100 is approximately 72 pounds, but because this bike is so well balanced, it still feels nimble. And with a max load capacity of 350 pounds, you can really load this e-bike up with gear, especially if you grab the optional rear rack, which costs $79. One of my favorite things about the SN100 frame is the super low minimum saddle height of just 33 inches. When the saddle is dropped all the way, I can put my feet flat on the ground while at a stop, and I'm 5'10 with a 30 inch inseam for reference. It's also way easier to ride the SN100 aggressively when that saddle is so low. There is an integrated headlight on the SN100 that's built directly into the frame, and while it looks super slick, it's not super bright. Still, the extra illumination will increase your visibility to other riders, pedestrians, and cars, and for that added safety, Vitubia gets 10 points. At the rear of the SN100, there's a Shimano Tourney derailleur with a 7-speed cassette paired with a Shimano SIS index thumb shifter. The spread here is good, and when you're in top gear at around 25 miles per hour, the cadence is pretty much perfect. There's also a double-sided bash guard on the front chain ring, which helps keep that chain locked into place. Now, the Mozo spring suspension has about 100 millimeters of travel, preload adjust, and lockout, and while these aren't your Red Bull racing shocks, they do a great job of smoothing out the ride. The huge air volume in the Kenda 26 inch by four inch fat tires also helps to tame the trails, not just because of their added suspension, but because of their massive tire patch. When you're trying to slog your way through sand, snow, or mud, these fat tires really help to keep the SN100 afloat. And if you air them down to 5 PSI, you're basically unstoppable. I absolutely love that Vituvia gave the SN100 hydraulic brakes because when you've got a ride that can hit 28 miles per hour, you really need to be able to stop on a dime. The only downside with these brakes are the rotors. The SN100 has 160 millimeter rotors in the front and rear wheels. And while that does offer plenty of stopping power and perfect conditions, they might struggle when they're all gunked up with mud and the SN100 is loaded to its max payload capacity of 350 pounds. I would love to see at least a 180 millimeter rotor in the front wheel, but I'm still impressed that we've got hydraulic brakes on an e-bike at this price point. Let's talk about the handlebars. 
They are adjustable in angle, which means that if you plan to ride the SN100 primarily off-road, you can decrease the angle for a more aggressive and efficient posture. But for those of you that plan on using the SN100 more as a road warrior, well, then you can raise the handlebars for a more upright and relaxed riding posture. In the middle of the handlebars, we've got a bright, colorful LCD display that's easy to read in direct sunlight, and since it doesn't have a polarized screen, there won't be any interference with polarized sunglasses. On the left side of the handlebars, we've got the independent button pad, and on the right side, we've got the SIS index thumb shifter and the throttle. Overall, the Vituvia SN100 is a versatile fat tire electric bike with a well thought out design at an affordable price. This is a great first e-bike choice or maybe a second e-bike to share with the family. All right, awesome peeps, I am tired of talking, so let's ride. That is it for the review of the Vituvia SN100 fat tire electric bike. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, we would ask that you please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. It helps out a ton and we would really appreciate it. So with that, thank you so much again. I hope you are having a fantastic day and until next time, peace.